I'm going to show you guys the easiest and the fastest methods to max out your Brawl Stars account as fast as possible. Free to play or pay to win or a little bit of both. Brawl Stars has obviously changed so much over the years and the most recent update has changed it the most ever arguably and while the credit system is really new and it's kind of specific with how it works there's still a lot of tips that some people might be missing and that's what i want to make sure that i do today is tell you literally everything that you might need to know to either unlock every brawler that you want as fast as possible or even max them out as fast as possible because there's a couple tips that will boost your progress really fast if you're not doing them already and if any of these tips today help you then subscribe it'll be your way to pay me back stumble guys Woo! this video is sponsored by none other than stumble guys so i've actually been having a lot of fun playing stumble guys myself and after playing it for a while i started realizing how unique a lot of the maps and especially the game modes are like look at this mode where you have to dodge a bunch of stuff that ramps up in speed there's spinny things shooting at you while there's all like the bugs on the ground rolling around and if you die then you're out that's the thing. It's really scary, but I love it a lot. Most of the time, though, at the beginning of the game, you're actually racing against a bunch of other players, and all of the maps so far that I've seen are super unique, and they're a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool obstacles. Stumble Guys has a brand new Hot Wheels Stumble Pass, which I love because Hot Wheels is really near and dear to my heart because it was a big part of my childhood. And there's also the Hot Wheels Race map where you can hop into a car and you can go on a track that has, like, speed zones and stuff like that. It's really cool. I love it. There's also a bunch of new stumblers in the game, including my two personal favorite, Ginger bread guy and the merry skeleton you can't tell me they're not beautiful there's a custom party mode where you can play by yourself you can play with bots you can play with friends and you can customize a bunch of stuff click the link down below in the description to download and play stumble guys i guarantee you you're gonna have a lot of fun and again thank you to stumble guys for sponsoring today's video we're gonna start off with the basics and we're gonna get a bit more advanced as we go but tip number one this is more so a reminder or if some people really just do not remember to do this just make sure you do all of your quests and target the daily ones first because those go away really quickly i know i've said this in literally every single video you need to do your quest that is the number one thing that you should be doing by the time this season is over there should be no quests here target the daily quests first those ones are usually pretty fast you can usually do daily quests while doing other quests so like if i have a brawl ball daily right here there might be another brawl ball one right here you can do both at once so this is just a reminder to do your daily quests do not forget them and do not forget to finish every quest on the road before the brawl pass ends it shows a timer on there so just do it before it ends another kind of important tip is if you don't even plan on playing for that day just make sure you at least open the game and check a couple different things first of all uh, go to your events and just claim every single event possible because there's actually a lot and they add up you actually get a lot of free tokens by doing this and i feel like a lot of people actually underestimate that i know that's a super obvious thing to do but i'm just saying that for days where you're not planning on logging in at least get on the game and claim those and then get back off there is one more thing that you need to make sure that you check every single day though because some days can be way luckier than others and that is the free shop that rotates every single day and also other free items that you could find in your shop because as brawl stars is pumping out free items for everybody all the time right now we have the brawl days stuff and as you can see 50 chroma credits free pins and a lot of the time there's free credits in general so we can claim these and then you always got to look to the right for the daily freebie because this can either be something like you see right here you know 10 power points nothing crazy but it can also be up to 50 power points or 50 credits or i believe even 50 chroma credits there's a lot of different things that you can get from the daily freebie of course this is actually rng like this is one of the only rng elements that isn't in the new progression system so just make sure that you're checking your shop every single day check your tokens every single day just do that every day because you could miss out on a little boost of progression if you don't log in another really important tip is to focus your trophy row now this might seem a bit weird for me to say this but i have seen accounts like this where you have all of these brawlers and you have certain ones pushed up pretty high but then the lower you go you start to realize that there's some brawlers downward of like zero or 50 trophies and especially if you've had the brawler for a long time you just gotta play them because getting the trophies not only gives you free tokens just for getting the brawler leveled up but the trophy road itself has some of the best rewards in the entire game people who got the trophy road twice know this as a fact you get so much in the trophy road look at this for hitting 10,000 trophies you get 920 credits that could be an entire brawler or like half of the legendary if the legendary is half off but still that's a lot of credits you 
get so many on the trophy road and that's something that everybody should be focusing first and my tip for this is to get each brawler to about 500 trophies because that's where the reset starts happening so if you start pushing over 500 then you're just going to drop back down towards it once the season ends so your first objective when it comes to trophy pushing should be to push every single brawler that you have to 500 and then start pushing them higher by the time you get them all to 500 you should have gotten a ton of different rewards and they're all completely free to get now one of the best if not not the absolute best tip to actually max out the brawler that you want to max out is to play club league join a club that does club league because this stuff is insane i didn't really realize how broken it was until recently but no this is broken as you can see i have 784 club tokens and when i first unlocked gray i had zero power points on him and i had zero power points stored up because the new update was a little bit weird with how it transferred your progression so i had nothing to put into my gray he was level one and i couldn't level him up and after about three weeks of club league i gained about 2500 club coins and with those club coins i was able to completely max out my gray from zero to max i had no power points to my name just using the club coins i was able to max him from zero to level 11 that's broken you can do that in a couple weeks if you join a club that actually does club league and that actually has it a little bit high up it's one of the more hidden things in the game that maybe not everybody does because i know that a lot of people just think it's like something that they don't want to do trust me you got to do it plus you could do club quests while doing your regular quests or you could do club league while doing your quests as well if you just choose the right brawler and they actually fit in the map or the mode that you're playing now this next tip might not actually exist anymore but in the past if you did power league then you were able to get a bunch of star coins and with those star coins you could buy mega boxes at the end of the season which i don't know if there's going to be an equivalent to that now once the season ends we're going to find out in about a week so just watch this timer in the rewards category so when it goes down to zero there could be a bunch of season end rewards that show up in the shop now the most important tip that i need to tell you okay do not buy any silver or golden skins as much as you might want them that is setting you back maxing out so many brawlers just for one little skin and if you're ever gonna spend gems in this game just don't spend it on this token doubler what you gotta do instead is save your gems to buy the next brawl pass that should be your number one priority if you're a free-to-play player you should save up every single gem that you get in this brawl pass road and by the time you finish two brawl passes free to play you can actually buy the second one completely free if you want or you could buy the third one depending on whatever you want to do another important thing is if you're deciding whether you want to do the brawl pass or the brawl pass bundle where it gives you like 20 extra tiers for free just do the brawl pass regular because it'll save you gems and you're gonna get the extra tiers eventually anyways as long as you actually do your quests i just want to point that out and as somebody who's a bit lazy i usually buy the bundle but you, you shouldn't do that okay don't do it another important tip that is gonna end up saving you coins in the long run is when you finally get a brawler to the level where they're actually able to get gadgets and star powers nowadays there's no way to actually unlock them completely free you have to spend coins on them so if i were you i would do research on which star powers and gadgets are best for the brawler that you're planning on buying one for because you shouldn't buy all four of them if you can stop yourself from doing that because most brawlers have like a set gadget star power combo that's the best for them so in shelly's case right here i have shell shock and she has a crazy combo with clay pigeons and shell shock so if you're playing shelly then you should get clay pigeons and shell shock that is simply her best combo it's really good it makes her a slightly better brawler and when you're in that road to actually getting all of your brawlers to this level I would just recommend don't buy everything for every brawler that you get to that level because at some point you're going to be at a coin deficit and it's going to be a little bit tough. If I helped you out, then please subscribe and yeah, I'll see you later.